Getting ready for the uh, walking tour to Edgerton, May 11th, 2019. And the crowd is starting to pile in. Uh, you know, I think they have better things to do. Yeah, the overall Okay, we want to thank everyone for coming on the tour. This will be the second tour we've done since Joe Kroniski passed away. He's the one who initiated these tours. Our guides are down there. They're going to lead you in, and I think I have one or two riding with me. If you can't walk, I have to drive in. But uh, we're going to start out in about two or three minutes walking that way. And it's a mile and a quarter walk. There's water in the back there. If you need any water, we have chips, water, and feel free. Okay, we got past the gate. We're on the way into Edgerton. And the walkers are walking in from the other end. We'll meet them in there, but we'll get into the, uh, the old Hunter's Pavilion first before they do. Okay, so far so good. A lot of puddles on the road, a lot more potholes than usual from all the rain we had, but we're uh, on the way to Edgerton on the Red Ash Road. We're back at the old railroad bed coming out of Edgerton, and it's in rough shape right now. No more tracks, no evidence of tracks at all or ties. Okay, we're coming into the pavilion right now. Well, what uh, was the pavilion at one time? There's two uh, flags there. And here's the bridge we got across. Well, we're up here now where the pavilion used to be, and we're waiting for the walkers. They're going to be coming up this road probably in about 20 minutes or so. They're down there a little ways, and the roads might have gotten washed out, just like the road we drove in on was. You can see there was a lot of potholes on the way in, and I'm sure they're walking through a lot of puddles down there now. Okay, the first hikers are on their way right now. Okay, y'all made it in here. This was the site of the old Hunter Pavilion, but they had to tear it down. Army Corps engineers wanted it down for a watershed, whatever. But the Sophronia uh, Shoes Hotel was back there in the woods. There wasn't trees back there back then. It was all cleared out. And uh, if you go to our website and then go to the Facebook page for Edgerton, you can see pictures of that. They, they call it a stone house, made out of stone. But it was back somewhere in this area here. And uh, it was owned by Sophronius Schust. There's a road back there on the other side there. That's the original road that went down into Germany. You could still go down it today, but you'd run into a lot more mud. And you'd run into that rock that was carved out by a soldier during World War I. But that's the original road that went back into German, down that away. way The right of that road in the woods, they had a shed in there, an ice house. And they used to keep all the food in there, and it was like a community ice house, right down there towards where he's walking over to the right. And if you turn you all the way to the right over here, where those people are walking in the woods, they had some animals in there. They had some cows and uh, bigger animals like that, grazing animals. They kept them in the woods there. There was private homes, four or five private homes there. There was a, uh, a bottling company there too. And there was a fire uh, probably around 1902. And all the buildings were insured except one in the middle. And the fire leaped over that one in the middle, burned all the rest down except that one. And that was probably around 1902. But there was private owned homes up here. The ones in the center of town where we're headed, they were owned by the coal company. That's why in 1905 when they ran out of coal, they uh, tore the town down and uh, moved all the homes out of here and everybody had to move because they were company owned. Okay, these foundations here, that little pile of rocks rather, it was uh, what's left of Peter Stella's saloon. This was a saloon and it was listed in the paper 1904 or five for sale. It was one of the last buildings for sale here. That's all that's left. The reason the rocks are like that is because uh, in the 1990s, uh, there was uh, some companies came up here looking for silt with bulldozers and they did destroy a lot of foundations. And this is one of them, but that's why it doesn't look anything like a building, but it was. It was Peter uh, Stella's saloon. We do want a metal detect up here. There are probably some coins to find, to be found there. All the hikers are on their way up now. Okay, everybody made it. Uh, we're standing in the area of the pay shack. Somewhere down here where that red uh, cylinder is, or that was the pay shack. And uh, they paid them in silver dollars. They didn't use mine script up here. It was all paid in silver dollars. This is one area we do want to uh, metal detect. We haven't done it yet. 
but it was in that area here. And off to the left up there was the mule barn. We're gonna walk straight back that way. We're gonna stop a couple of points on the way there, but the breaker's back that way. We have to walk that way. I'm gonna jump in the Jeep to go over the bridge up to the schoolhouse. We're gonna walk up this way now towards the breaker. And if you pull out your card and look at it, you can see the, uh, the picture where you're at in the, in the town. You look up there into the woods, you can see some rocks, not natural rocks. They're man-made foundations there. That's part of the foundation of that breaker. You go way up top, there's a concrete foundation there. Anyone wants to walk up there, they could. I'm gonna stay down here. But this was the big breaker, and that's all that's left right now. It was stepped in layers, the foundation, and it goes right up to the top there. You can still see up top, if you look through the trees, part of the uh, concrete structure. Yeah, you look straight up there right from here, you can get a better view of it. It's the last piece of the concrete left from that foundation. And someone took a walk up there, right to the foundation. They had to draw water out of the uh, creek here to run the breaker. We're gonna walk up a little further to where the uh, the rocks were, where the uh, pipes are. There's still two uh, pipes in the road. You can see them sticking up, old cast iron pipes. There's part of a pipe that took water from that creek up to the breaker, way up on the side of the mountain there. Okay, we're gonna stop right here. Years ago, that creek, like all the rivers, were flowing a lot harder. There was a lot more water in them. The Luxmore Homestead was right here in the woods. And if you read our book at all, the story of little Johnny Luxmore, he was five years old, 1894. His mother was baking bread in the backyard. As he was playing outside with his sister, throwing stones in the creek. And he slipped in and fell. And it was a lot bigger creek then. He washed down. The mule barn was on the other side, like I pointed out before. And some of the guys from the mule barn came out and ran down that side. Mr. Luxmore ran down this side, and they found him drowned down there, about 500 yards down, 500 feet down. Okay, we're at the corner here of A Street, B, and C Street's down that way. Very easy streets to remember. Uh, we're gonna walk down to the left, this side road here, then turn right on C Street, or School Street, go past the school, walk up and across, and go over by the company store. And then from there, if you guys want to see the dam, most people do walk up that way. I'm going to walk back, get the Jeep, and drive it up there because we have some people that can't walk that far. And uh, you, everybody wants to see the dam. It's real nice up there. But let's walk down this road here towards the school. Okay, this field right here was, uh, well, there was no trees back then, and they used it to plant corn and whatever other crops they used. Pepper went in there looking for remnants of it. He didn't find anything, but this was where they planted. Although there was no big trees back then, and it was like a community garden for the small town here and they had everything growing here. Nothing now, all gone, no traces of it. This here is the school foundation. If you look at the picture on the car that I gave you, it was taken from behind it, so you see the back side of the school, but this is the front where they walked in. It wasn't a very big school. It was a one room schoolhouse. This was covered up with silt. This is a 114-year-old town and uh, since it closed down. And Pepper came up here probably in the 1990s. And he dug and he dug, brought shovels up, and he looked all over the town. He finally found this spot and uncovered it. Until then, up until then, it was covered in with silt. Nobody could see the foundation walls. But he dug it out. He was, uh, this town was really uh, his passion. And he has, he got a lot of history on it and he taught it all to me. Yeah, more foundations in there. Most bears will run from you. There was a railroad that went out this way back behind the town there. We're not gonna walk that way, it's a real steep walk. But it goes out and it comes in on that, out on that road where we drove in. And uh, that's where they took the uh, picture from the railroad bit up on the back side of the town there. But uh, right up this road and off to the left behind the town.
Take a look at the foundations in there in the woods. That is the company store foundation. And any of you who have seen our website and seen the picture of the kids standing in front of it, they stood right here for that picture. Everybody's standing right in front of the old company store, right where the kids did way back when they took that picture. This is the Hosey Dam. snakes up here today. In fact, I've yeah, uh, never seen this many on an Edgerton tour. No, no, I haven't. And they're start starting to straggle out from Edgerton, the walkers. We just got back ourselves and the vehicle. I'm not sure if any others walked out yet or not. More walkers coming out from Edgerton. Waiting for more walkers to come out from the Edgerton tour. More people coming out from the tour. Six people so far walked out. Three more coming out. <laughs> Woohoo! More hikers on the way out. Yeah. Last walker coming out now. 